WordPress is a fantastic platform to run your website, but providing support is a totally different topic. So most solutions that provide support are mainly uh, monthly paid. So this can be a bit expensive if you're running a small business. So today I have a fantastic tool that I'm going to be showcasing, which not only does chat support, but it also does audio and video. Now, can you imagine how amazing this is going to be for your customers if you can provide voice and video support? Let's check it out and see how really good this is and how easy it is to install. So over here, I'm in my dashboard. I'm going to go ahead now and click on download to download HelpGent. And then I'm also going to go to my subscription here and copy my license. So I'm going to highlight it, copy it, and then I'm going to come over here now to my website. To install it, you want to come over here to your plugins and then click on add new. Next, you want to click on upload plugin. And then I'm just going to drag and drop it here and then install now. Now, another way you can install this is by clicking on choose file and then navigate on the computer where that file is. All right, so now that I've installed it, I'm gonna click on activate to activate the plugin. And you're going to see an entry now over here on the left called help gent. So what you need to do immediately is to come over here to your settings and click on settings. Next, you want to add your license key. So I'm gonna click here on license and then paste it over here. Next, you want to come over here now to your general settings. This is where you're going to do majority of your settings. So I'm going to now take a look at the position of the chat head. So I prefer it on my bottom right hand of my screen. So that's fine. And uh, over here is uh, where you also need to make sure that you adjust your maximum video length and voice length. So two minutes, I think it's okay. You don't want to make these files too big because once you do that, they're going to take up a lot of space. Over here, the resolution as well, 1280 by 720 is perfect. I don't recommend that you make this high. Over here, maximum upload size is, size is fine. And then remove attachments after. I think I'm going to leave this at seven days and then I'm gonna hit save changes. So far, the setup is straightforward and the interface is very easy to find my way around. And that's a good thing. So here is where you want to add your from name and your email address. This is where you're going to be getting all your notifications. All right, so over here, we also have a template. So this is your email template. You can customize it here, but I normally just leave this as it is. Next, we're also going to go ahead and save changes. Now, if there's anything else you want to take a look at here, you can always go to the documentation and this will help you uh, if you're stuck at any point. All right, so let's continue on. Now, let's go on to our forms. Now, this part here is very important because you can have multiple forms on your website. So let's say you want to create a brand new one. You can just come over here. You can name it. So let's call this uh, Mac support. And then I'm going to say create form. So here is the information that you're going to be collecting. I don't recommend you add phone number here unless it's something specific like uh, maybe to do with uh, booking appointments. But if it's a general support, uh, I wouldn't uh, put the phone number there. So I am going to go ahead now and disable it like that. So I'm just going to leave name and email address over here now on display on selected pages. I can actually set this to display on a specific page rather than just across the whole website. So I'm gonna activate this and then click on this drop down and just choose my contact page. Over here, we also have further customizations, which I think is very, very good. I can now choose my theme. So this is the default one. I can choose uh, theme two. I'm not really a fan of that. So I'm just gonna stick with theme one, but you can further customize this by adding your image here or your video. And uh, you can also add your default message. And then here we can also activate and deactivate what we don't need. So let's say you're not a fan of uh, the screen recording. I can just go ahead and remove that. So now my screen recording is gone. I'm gonna leave this on here because we are going to demo this. Now we can further customize this by adding our branding colors here, which I also think is very good because it's possible that these colors could not work with your current branding. So you can always go in here and add your colors. All right, so let's go ahead now and save. And let's move on to the next part. So here is uh, what message is shown after your client has added their message. So you can redirect them to a specific page here, or you can even offer them even more items. So let's say you activate the button here. You can say try for free, or you can just say download now or um, more info, you know, whatever it is you want to uh, add here. So this is where you'd add the URL to where you want to, uh, you want them to go to. And then we can also further customize this. So I think this is really cool to have a thank you page like that. So I'm going to go ahead now and save. Okay, so now that we've set our page to show up on the contact page, let's go ahead now and see what the contact page looks like. And now we can see our chat bubble here. 
but notice what happens when I click on it. So if I click on it, we have now all our options. So the first option here is the screen. So I can actually record my screen. So let's do a quick test and see how this works. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this button here and I can choose which screen to record. So let me choose this one here and click on share. So it's giving me a countdown, which is really, really good here. And then I'm just gonna come over here and just do a bit of- I'm uh, sorry you can't see this because I'm doing this on my second monitor. I'm gonna click back here and then stop. And then now I can click on send, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna close it and then go back. So the next option here is the voice. So if I want to add a voice message here, I can click here. And then again, if I, if I click here on this icon, it's gonna give me a countdown. And this is where I can now go ahead and record my voice. Okay, so I'm just testing this feature to see if this works. Then I'm gonna close that. So if I'm ready to send, I can just click on yes. But if I need to re-record it, I can just say no and then re-record the message. And then back over here, I can also go to video and then I can say record video. Now there's also another option here to upload a pre-recorded video, which I think is better because sometimes it can be a bit difficult to uh, speak on camera. But for my case, uh, I'm pretty used to it, but I also do a lot of mistakes. So I would rather record the video first and then upload it by just clicking over here. Now notice the size here, it's 64 meg. So now you can just go to uh, your um, computer and find an appropriate size and then upload it that way. So once you've sent uh, your message, you can now come back over here to your dashboard and go to help gents. And then here we can see all my tests. So we've got the audio here. We also have a video and I can now respond as the main agent by saying, okay, let me uh, respond by voice message. So I can click here and then record my voice. So as you can see here, it is recording. I can then pause this and then, you know, send to that message. So as you can see, this is a very, very powerful system. We can do voice, text and audio and also screen recording, I almost forgot that. Now, after playing around with this, I can see how powerful this can integrate into so many use case scenarios. So for example, in my case, my support is mainly text-based, but there are situations where someone needs to uh, know how to use something or how to download something. Via text, it can be quite difficult, but recording a quick video, this can solve a lot of problems. And also, this can be used on so many scenarios. I mean, you can imagine if you have, say, a membership website, a blog, an online course website, or even if you're a freelancer, communicating with your clients like this, I think, adds more value to your services. All right, guys, what do you think about HelpGent? Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.